Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. I am also doing well. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today session we will talk about little bit more uh, about that EC2 instance metadata. How we can get the EC2 instance metadata? So by using that metadata URL. In our previous session we have done that, and uh, some of our family member are facing some issue like uh, they are getting like unauthorized access. So. To prevent that unauthorized access, I would like to show you how we can prevent this uh, kind of error message or like why basically we are getting this error message and then how we can stop this error message or by using the token, right? How we can access that uh, metadata. That all I will show you that uh, hands on so that uh, this issue faced by our uh, one of our uh, member like uh, Saiteza. Uh, so I will address this issue today and uh, in our next session, I will address that auto scaling stuff, which uh, one of our member uh, requested that uh, that also we'll talk about. So let's talk about today this session. So I have already addressed that uh, his question, whatever he asked now. But I thought like, uh, OK, let's create some demo, hands on demo with this IMDS token, like instance metadata service token, so that uh, if someone requirement is like that, uh, they will not disable this uh, metadata service, right? Then the token has to pass to that uh, metadata URL. So I will show you how we can do that. So let's go to that uh, AWS EC2 console. So let me create one EC2 instance here. Something like that. Right? I will talk about one video with this security group because this is very good on features like um, that uh, in terms of security, right? So I will talk about, I will keep, I am thinking I will create one session about this. So stays. So in this instance, I didn't attach any IM role okay. as simple as uh, just a simple EC2 instance. So let me try this. So this is the file to type. Just try to access first this is to instance. So now we are able to access that. Right? To instance. Now we connected this to instance. So let me create one folder here. So we put that folder. So for that, what now let's try. Now I that uh, instance method as a service, right? It is uh, enabled. So let's try to access that first. Uh, is it like. Uh, we are able to access the metadata or not at see. So this is the error message uh, faced by one of our folks. Uh, if you see right that uh, that message, you can understand. Uh, let me show you that. So this is what the error message unauthorized extension got. Okay. So if you don't want the token, right? So that also then what we can do here. Let's go to the EC2 instance and go to that quick action where instance settings. Go to that, that modify metadata dialogs. Here, if you see, right, it's by default whenever you are launching an EC2 instance, right, this instance metadata service V2 API, right, it will always, it will be by default, it will be required also. So if you don't want this one, right, then you can disable. And then I will show you with the required how we can access that too also. 
So let's save this one. Now go to now hit this URL. Now see we can able to see that instance ID. Or if you hit, if you don't want to put instance ID, let's see it. Metadata. We can see all the AMI details, all this thing, right? We can able to hit that. Now I will talk about how with that uh, that uh, with this enable that IMD, right? How we can do that? So let's go to that instance, instance settings, modify. Now I will make as a required. Because this is a security kind of thing, right? So better to take keep uh, that uh, to secure. So for that, what we need to do, we need to get the token first. Then we, we, we are good to access. Now, if you hit, now you will get the unauthorized. So how we can get the token? Let me show you that I have written one script. So I will not run everything here. So here what I am doing first, I am getting the token from the metadata API only. Once you get the token, right? That token you can pass to uh, your whatever instance metadata ID or region, whatever you are trying to access, right? You can add. So let me just this much only. Let me try and let me show you this. Because below one, right? If you see below one is the we are trying to access that EC2 tag, all this thing, right? So this will get failed because now this EC2 instance, we are not attached any role or like uh, EC2 access or anything, right? So I will show you these two also. And in our previous video, we have uh, described like how we can attach role, how we can create the role. So if you not yet watch that uh, video, please uh, take a look at that so that it will be a clear understand like how we can create our custom policy role, IAM role, all this thing, right? So let me try this up to this. Then I will show you that uh, issue to describe also. Because I am doing like this. Now, if you see normal hit, it is not working, right? Unauthorized. Now I am trying to run the token with the token. Okay. So let's try. See, we are able to access. So this is the token, and then this is the instance ID. Then I am trying to access the region. So we are good to access that one, right? But if you see, if you hit this full thing, whatever I have written here, right? So let me show you that too also. I'm trying to get that um, EC2 instance tag, all these three details, right? So let me try that. So it will fail that uh, last command, whatever we are trying with that uh, region you know, with that uh, instance ID and then region, we are trying to get the owner details from the tag, right? So that will fail. Let's show you how we can do that. So let me try that. See, region up to region we got, but here it got failed, right? Why? Because that it, it's a uh, Asking either you have to do that uh, AWS config or AWS config. If you not yet watch my previous video, like how we can uh, configure the AWS config, right? That you can take a look. So what now? What I will do? I will give the full permission that I am role. So previous session I have talked about already how to create the I am role and how to attach that. So you can take a look. So let's I have already that role. So let me just add that role to this instance. So this is the EC2 instance. So let me go to ins instance, then security, then modify IAM role. Okay. So here I in my previous session, I have created one S3 full access and then EC2 full access. Right? So let's save update this EC2 full access. Now that is done. Go to here. Now we can hit this. So now, okay, let me before that, let me see like, is there any tag is there or not? So let me create one tag here. Something like that. So let's see this. Now you can see that. Uh, Previously, we are getting that uh, error, right? 
it's asking like uh, please give the credentials and configuration right? but now i attach the tc2 that role so that now tc2 instance we can able to access right so like this we can do with this uh, what you call that uh, token by using the token we can access that ec2 meter uh, ec2 metadata and the token validation how much time it will be valid right this is by second so you can specify it here like how much time you want to keep the token alive so like this we can do so i think that's it so what next we'll see you in the next video so if this uh, will help to you guys so then please subscribe my channel that really inspired to me and if you have any suggestion or comment, please put your valuable feedback.